Greg, tell us a little bit about how today's practice went for you guys. Uh, it went pretty well. We had good energy, and uh, we just kind of got a scout on um, the next team we're playing. Um, we just practiced some of the things they're going to do on defense, some of the things they're going to do on offense, and just kind of the strategy of how we're going to play them. How excited are you guys to be playing in a national championship game? Uh, first for the Bulldogs, obviously only a second time for the GLIAC Finley in 2009. What does that mean to you guys uh, to be playing in a national championship game? It's awesome. I mean, this is like a once in a lifetime team right here. It's special. It's fun to be uh, a part of it. It's fun to be here. Um, I've never played in a state championship game or a, a championship game like this. Uh, so it's really exciting. And uh, I mean, it's been a lot of fun so far. So I'm excited and, and hopefully we can get the win tomorrow. And you guys came off a great win here in the national semifinals against a very good West Texas A&M team. Tell us a little about that West Texas A&M game and uh, what you guys felt, how that got, how that played out, and how it set the stage for it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, they came out, you know, kind of guns and blazing. They're a good basketball team. And then uh, in the second half, we got hot and they they want to go away. But uh, that's kind of how it's been. Like every team's good here, and um, they were a good basketball team. But I'm glad that we moved on. <laughs> And talk a little bit about the depth that you guys have. You guys have so many guys capable of stepping up. You guys go 8, 9, 10 deep with a lot of confidence. What's that like knowing you guys have so many guys that can step in? Well, I mean, I think, like, our seniors and that starting five, I mean, they've carried us all the way. So, you know, when the bench comes in, you know, our role is to bring energy and, and keep playing defense, rebound and running, and give those guys a rest. I mean, it's awesome that we can go deep. It gives us an advantage. But, I mean, I... I give it to our seniors. I mean, they've played like seniors. They've played like big time players and they've led us this way and we're just gonna ride them all the way through. And then last question, uh, gonna be playing on CBS Network, uh, live, big time. What's that gonna be like for you guys stepping out on that court? And uh, how long is it gonna maybe take you guys to uh, kind of wash that away and then focus on basketball? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like you got family members and friends saying like, hey, I was watching on CBS Sports and games on CBS we'll be watching. So it's like very exciting. I mean, it's a little nerve wracking butterflies. Uh, but I mean, if you don't have butterflies at, at a time like this, you know, there's something wrong with you. So it's just fun, it's a great opportunity and, and uh, I'm gonna cherish it. Oh, it was amazing, you know. Um, being on the floor with these guys, last practice for some of our seniors, we feel the vibe, feel the energy going, like, great to be around. It was nice. It was real nice today. And what, uh, coming off of that game against West Texas A&M, you guys know coming into Elite Eight, everybody's going to be good, everybody's going to be tough. Uh, tell us a little bit about that game and how you guys were able to pull it out. Uh, West Texas came to play. Um, a lot of teams here are good, and they came to play. So it's about who, what team's sticking together for the longest. And I feel like we just had a better 40 minutes. You know, it was parts of the game where they had a better five stretch minutes or um, up and down minutes, but we had a better 40 minutes as a team, and that helped us pull it out. And tell us about your role because, you know, guys like you and Greg Williams come off that bench. You guys are bringing that energy and uh, really putting pressure on the other team's first unit when they wear down and then putting pressure on the other team's second unit. Talk about that energy that you guys bring. Oh, uh, yeah, me, and, me, Greg, and Deshaun come off the bench, and when we on the floor, there's more just more. We don't even care about offense. It's more about defense. Our starters do a good job of giving us a nice little lead, a nice little energy, and we just try to pick it up to keep them engaged, you know. So when we get in, we don't want the first team to think, all right, this is when we're going to go crazy. It's like, no, we're going to have to work just how we have to work with the starters. So that's kind of our motto going in. And now looking ahead to the national championship game, you got to put that in perspective somehow. What's it going to be like in that national championship game playing on CBS Network and all the things that go with playing in a game of this magnitude? What's that going to be like for you? I feel like it's going to be great. It's going to be great for the team. It's going to be great individually. It's going to be great. I mean, a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of fans there for both. It's good to see our fans come 12 hours. We're going to have a lot of fans there that came 12 hours to watch this play, and that's going to help us a lot, too. So this is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it as a team and as an individual. We're looking forward to this moment right here. You guys have had a chance to see Northern State a couple times now. What kind of things do the Bulldogs need to do well against Northern State? Uh, Northern State is a good team. We're going to have to match up for sure. We're going to have to guard they big and don't leave their shoes open. Their shoes can shoot, so we got to put a hand up. And we got the word from redshirt freshman Jalen McFadden here. Bulldogs getting ready for the national championship game on Saturday against Northern State.